This tribute for Cheryl McCormick is heartbreaking. Between these smiling photos and what those close to her say, life was good for Cheryl. She was always very happy, smiling, helpful. But the circumstances around her death Thursday paint a different picture. The 17-year-old was at a sleepover with friends Monday when they popped ecstasy pills, something they'd done before. But it wasn't to get high. Cheryl was ingesting what she thought was ecstasy for the purpose of weight management and weight control. She had a bad reaction this time. I would say that this was a, a genuine surprise and, and the family is still, of course, dealing with understanding how this came to be. The link between dieting and pills isn't a big surprise to Dr. Jody Samra. We're seeing this increasing trend toward young, young girls, teens in particular, using different kinds of prescription and non-prescription medications to curb their appetite. And while it's not clear whether Cheryl had an eating disorder... We see a high comorbidity or co-occurrence of um, eating disorders and substance use. She says there are warning signs that teens could be going to dangerous lengths to get thin. An excessive preoccupation with thinking, talking about their weight and shape. Um, another one is if you're starting to see them consistently or reliably skipping meals. But those signs can also be hidden. Make me flawless. Countless thin spiration videos and blogs offer tips to anorexics and bulimics to avoid getting caught. Combine that harmful online community with the APD's observation of a trend in ecstasy use for weight control, and you have a challenging situation for parents. Cheryl's loved ones hope her death gets them talking. It's really imperative that parents have this conversation with their children and with their nieces and nephews. To counteract a dangerous subculture prepared to turn to illicit drugs in the quest for perfection. It's Penny Daflos, CTV News, Vancouver.